Hey guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios, and I'm coming back to you with another tutorial, this time on installing Xcart Next. It's pretty exciting. Qualiteam has recently released their new Xcart Next uh, package, and uh, you know most of my tutorials have been on Xcart up till now, but this is my first one with Xcart Next, and I'm really excited to be working with the new platform. Now it's pretty easy to install. Uh, right now we're working with a beta. Uh, there's no release. But the first step is obviously to get um, a release package of the beta, and it's right here. You know, you can download the trial for free. You don't have to have a license or anything. And uh, I'm just going to follow this link. I'm actually just going to go to next.xcart.com, and there should be a download beta right here. Of course, it might be download trial in the future if you're watching this uh, later on. So it's downloaded. I'm going to show it in folder. And copy it from that folder. I'm going to put it in my tutorial folder. And so here we have the distribution. It's about 8 megs. I'm going to go ahead and extract the package. Um, so I use 7-zip. I'm just going to tell it to extract here. And that'll take a second. While it's still extracting, I'll point out that it creates a folder named Xcart. I really kind of wish this was Xcart Next. And my reasoning for that is Xcart Gold and Pro. Uh, when you extract them, they automatically extract to the folder Xcart. So if you're trying to install this uh, application, you know, on a system that already has had a version of Xcart installed, then it tries to overwrite the directory, which is obviously a problem. So um, you know, be aware of that when you extract it. If you extract it directly on your web server, uh, it's going to extract to Xcart. Now, in previous tutorials, you know, I've shown you how to extract. Uh, the zip and then upload it using FileZilla, which I'm going to start now. Now we could just upload this entire um, this entire folder right here, or just the contents of this folder to the server. I'm going to go ahead and connect. As you can see, I'm working from a new domain name, appropriately xcartnext.com, which is a site that I plan to promote uh, services and my tutorials and all sorts of things. And, you know, because I was making this for the community, EWD, Emerson at EWD, actually, you know, provided the space for Xcard Next for free, which is really wonderful, and I, we all appreciate it. Um, and Emerson is one of the greatest guys out there. You know, I've met him in person, and he's, and he's very fun and, and a nice guy. Uh, but EWD Hosting and his team, uh, one of the top hosts out there, you know, they're recommended by Quality Team. Uh, there's three hosts out there that I really like, and EWD is, is probably at the top of that list right now, just based on the personal service. Um, I like their server setup. I like the configuration out of the box. Uh, it's very nice. So there's my plug for EWD. Thank you, Emerson. So going back to FileZilla, I'm going to open up the public underscore HTML folder, and this is the forward-facing folder to, for the Internet. And what we can do, like I said, is upload the Xcart folder directly but this time I'm just going to go ahead and upload the zip file. If you have experience uploading, you know, you'll know that this is actually going quite quickly where if I uploaded this entire directory, you'd have to upload individual files and it could take 20 minutes. So now we've downloaded the package and uploaded the package to our server. I want to point out that PHP, that should be PHP there, 5.3.0 and MySQL 5.1.31 is absolutely required uh, for this distributor to work. I mean, it's, I've tried to install it on lesser uh, operating systems, and it's just not going to happen. So this next step, we're going to access the server via PuTTY and untar the archive. I guess I should have wrote zip. Unzip. Tar is a word for a different kind of uh, compression. And so to do that, we're going to use PuTTY. And you can just search for PuTTY on the Internet and download this application. It's a shell access, and you know you get the information for your host name, and sometimes it's your domain name. You get this from your host. So you know Emerson provided me with the uh, right information, and you have to log in again with the information provided by your host. So we'll type our password and hit enter, and we're logged in. And so I'll teach you your first putty command. You use dir to see the contents of the current directory. Now, since we want to go to the public underscore HTML, we're just going to do cd public underscore HTML. And we can do dir again to see that it's completely empty 
except for the beta.zip. So now we want to unzip the archive, and so we're just going to type unzip, and then the name of the file, make sure you get it right, dash one, dot one, dot zero, and your file is going to be different, you know, put in the name of your file. And there it goes. So it's extracting and inflating it, and look how fast that was. You know, to up upload it, unzip it, much better process. So if we were to run and look at uh, DIR again and look at the directory, you know, we can see the new folder that's been created. Now, um, some of you are going to be just fine with that name. Some of you are going to want to call it shop. Some of you are going to want xcart next in the root directory. If you just want to rename it, uh, we just do mv xcart xcart next. And then we can do dir and see, you know, now it's at xcart next. So you can rename it to whatever you like. Now, if we actually want to move it to root, we're going to change to the directory. And we're going to do cp, we're just copying it, star recursive um, dot dot slash. That should take it up to the, 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 you know, the root directory. That happened pretty quick. You know, one to watch out for is the dot ht access file. See, it hasn't moved uh, the dot ht access file over. So what we're going to have to do is go back to the xcard next directory and uh, you know just copy that file particularly see if we hit dir here you know you can see that .ht access file and it's copied the access files that are in these folders it just hasn't copied the one in this directory due to the command that I use there might be a better one but let's just do cp .ht access dot dot slash and then let's go back to that directory and let's just check to see that it got it over here it sure did so now what we can do, um, and, and just real quick, I want to remind you all that you can do uh, all of this in FileZilla. And, you know, you can check. I just refreshed. You can, you can change the name of the directories. Um, everything can be done in FileZilla, but I'm just showing you this faster way. So let's just go ahead and remove that, that directory that we don't need. So we'll just rm xcart next. Oh. That's not going to work. RM-R, recursive, xcart next. Okay, so now if we do DIR, you know, we can see it's removed that xcart next directory. It's no longer there. Okay, so now we are complete with the access to the server. So we're going to create the database and user. So to do that, we are just going to pull up our cPanel. And I'm going to do that by putting in my domain name. I'm so glad to be using cPanel. It's the most popular panel out there. Now I was already logged in. You know, obviously if you log log out. I actually just recorded this tutorial and had to do it again because my mic wasn't on. Alright, so let's log in. And so the first thing we want to do is go to MySQL database. Oop, not that wizard. We're just going to click on this link. All right, we're going to create a database called Next. Create database. Pretty easy. And then we're going to create a user. So the new user is Next is already filled in, and that's just fine by me. Put in my password. Okay, I'm going to create that user. And now we need to add the user to the database. So in this case, the user and the database name is the same. It doesn't have to be. Let's just go ahead and add that. And I'm going to check all privileges, make changes, and we're done with this step. Okay, so the next step is to run the installation script. So doing that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to go ahead and pull open our domain name. Now if you put it in a folder, you're going to pull open your domain name plus the name of that folder. And we get the error XCN is not installed. Uh, try to run install.php. Okay, now we get the license agreement. Watch me read this real fast. And you click accept and next. And you got I got a passed. Now if you don't get a passed, you need to work with your host. And I didn't the first time, but Emerson, you know, graciously helped me out and we got all ready to, to be able to run this software. So let's hit next. 
okay, and it's got your domain name, it should fill in this web directory automatically. In my case, there's nothing because I'm putting it at the root. Server port, server socket, usually you don't have to change things. Let's just put in our database name. Our username is the same. And the password we just set. And I have the install sample catalog checked. Oop, must have typed something wrong there. Let's see. Oh, here you can see it right here. Okay, next. Let's check the permissions. Everything's ready. Let's hit next. This is where you need to hold your breath. I had a few problems on this page. Um, again, you know, we just had to fix the server. It wasn't Xcart Next problem, it was just the hosting environment. Um, this step three of five, and on this is a shared host, it's going to take a little while. It takes about a minute and a half to, to proceed. So I'll just pause the video and wait for that to complete. There we go, we went through four of five, we're on five of five. And then it says cache is built successfully. So we just come down here and click next. Okay, it's going to ask for the email address. Mine's already filled in because, like I said, I've done this before. I put in my password and click Next. And we're done. Now you'll see I've got a couple more steps. You know, copy the auth code and set up your store. I'm probably not going to walk you through setting up your store, but the auth code is right here. I usually just make a, a screenshot of this entire page. Um, and then the next step, you see chmod 755 and 644. Um, so, you know, files, it wants to be 644. And I've got that too, set folder permissions. And since I'm using EWD, I'm really in good shape. Uh, my permissions are already 755 on all my folders. And all my files are 644. So, um, we're done. <laughs> that was pretty quick and easy. Okay, now let's just take a quick look at the back end. I'm just going to log in there. It's telling me this is a beta. Now, you know, the, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is go to General Settings and, you know, fill in your company information. All pretty self-explanatory. Name, website, all these fun things. There's your contact emails. All right, let's take a look at the front end. We should have some fruits and vegetables. Okay. Well, guys, I hope it's been educational. This is Mike White signing off. I wish you lots of luck with Xcart Next and in all your e-commerce efforts. Talk to you soon.